Hi, this is Alexander Morenton with MyFitLife and OCFitnessChallenge.com. One of the greatest keys to weight loss and fitness success is food journaling. Yeah, um, what I've found over the past 22 years is that people that keep a food journal on a regular basis when they start a weight loss and fitness program, they get much better results than those that don't. There's this period, end of story. I, I've seen this time and time again. I know it's true, and studies have shown that it is true. You know, um, keep keeping a, a record of all the food that you eat, all the food that you ingest, all the caloric drinks that you ingest throughout the entire day on a day-to-day -day basis for the first 12 to 16 weeks that you're on a fitness program will dramatically increase your results, bar none. Okay, but here's the thing. For most people, including myself, it's a real pain in the ass to write down stuff every single day, every single meal, you know, every single snack. You know, it's hard to to remember to bring your food log with you, you know, and 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 a pen and to be to write it down all the time. It's just it's just a real big pain, and and people will forget their food journal or forget to bring a pen along. You know, you're out, you're out with friends or whatever it may be. And it just becomes a real inconvenience. So people falter off and they, even if they start off strong after a few days, they just become sporadic and then stop it altogether. But those rare few that do stick to their guns and keep a food journal, they get dramatic weight loss and fitness results. Just much greater than if they hadn't kept the food or journal in the first place. So I was reading a health magazine and they came up with an awesome solution because up until now I didn't really have a solution for people that just didn't want to write in a journal every day. So um, I, I was reading this week in, in Health Magazine as I said and it had an awesome awesome solution and it's called the Visual Food Journal and it's real basic. What it is is you just take a picture of every meal that you're gonna eat and every snack that you're gonna eat. You take a picture before you eat it, and then after you're done eating, you take a picture of the, of that plate or of that wrapper or whatever it is, and, and so, so you know how much you did eat of, of, every, of everything that, you, that you're eating. And after you're done with that, at the end of the day, you just upload the pictures to a folder in your computer, or you could upload them to a a website like flickr.com, F-L-I-C-K-R.com, or photobucket.com, and just make a little folder for each day, or just label eat, you know, each day 71709 breakfast, 71709 snack one, and so on and so forth. And what I think is really cool about this, well, there's two things. One is, you know, in days past, like years ago, that this would not have been an, an option for most people because they don't, you know, who wants to take a camera with them everywhere they go. But today we have camera phones. And chances are, if you're watching this video, then you have a phone that has a camera on it. My phone is three years old and it has a camera. So I'm, I'm willing to bet that, that you have a camera on your phone. So, what, so all you do, you know, taking that picture beforehand, it enables you to see what the portion size was of the food that you're eating. Not just what you ate, you know, uh, boneless, skinless chicken breast and a salad, but how big the portions were, you know, where there was their dressing on there and all these different kinds of things. Then, and then it also allows you to see by taking the picture afterwards, it allows you to see how much of that food you actually ate. Even if it's a snack, if, if you, if you go to the snack machine at work and you you know get some hot Cheetos, you know, and you have to take a picture of it, and then you have to take a picture of half a bag or the empty bag afterwards, I really believe that it'll it'll actually curb you from wanting to eat those kinds of foods, the the bad foods, and it'll it'll make you want to eat the better foods because you're taking a picture of it and you have to look at that later on, and and, and it'll help you also make better choices as far as the amount of food that you actually eat because if you could actually see it you know when, when you're when you're in the in the middle of it in, in the mix and you're just 
in, in, at that moment eating that food, you don't really realize how much you're eating. But if you have a before and after picture that you can look at later on, then that that is all the difference in the world. And you can say, "Wow, I'm, I'm I really am eating too much at each sitting," or "Wow, I didn't realize I was eating this many times during one single day." And just just doing that will help you so much. It'll help you so much and get you down that straight line path towards weight loss and fitness success. Sure, you need to eat healthy foods. Sure, you need to exercise, you know, doing some resistance exercise, doing some cardio and all these things. But I really believe that this visual food, food journal can be a breakthrough for you. If you're the type of person that does not like food journaling, that really hates it and despises it, and doesn't like writing down every little single thing, and just thinks it's set so monotonous, then just take a picture of it. You know, if you're out somewhere and somebody says, "Hey, why are you taking a picture of your food?" Just say, "Hey, you know, I'm on a weight loss journey. I, I'm trying to get myself better. I'm trying to get myself more fit, more healthy, and more happy." And this is what's going to get me closer to my goals, taking a picture before and after of everything that I eat. You know, don't worry about what anybody else is thinking. J just do it. And I, like I said, I really, really believe that this is, could help you achieve your goals quicker, faster, and better. Okay? Like I said, you don't have to do it every day. You just have to do it for the first 12 or 16 weeks, at least the first 8 weeks. That, that's a bare minimum, but I found that 12 or 16 weeks of doing some food journaling um, really ingrains the, those beneficial habits in your head and gets you really accustomed to the amounts of food that you should be eating and, and uh, making those better choices. So one last thing that I'll, that I'll leave you with is remember this, that when you're trying to lose weight or even gain weight, then you must eat like the person that you want to be. If you weigh 165 pounds, you're a female, you're five foot two inches tall, and you want to weigh 120 pounds, then you have to eat like a 120 pounder. You have to eat like a 120 pound girl. You can't eat like a 165 pound girl. Okay, so. Taking those pictures and seeing what your actual portion size is and seeing how much of that portion you actually did eat will will let you know, like, hey, am I eating like a 120 pounder or am I eating like a 200 pounder, you know? And that just will, will, will really get you to where you wanna go quicker, okay? So I hope this really helps you out a lot. I really think that this visual food journal is just a fantastic, fantastic idea for you. Again, this is Alexander Morenton, owner of My Fit Life and OCFitnessChallenge.com. Thank you. Have a beautiful day.